There are three different ways you can add a booking into your Super Control account. There's Add Bookings, Availability Search, and the Grid View. Now each path takes you to the same Add a Booking screen, so it's personal preference, so please do take some time to look at each path. Today we're going to go through one of the most popular, which is the Grid View. Now within the link called Grid Defaults, you have the freedom to customise the grid. So you can decide how many properties you would like to load on the grid. You can also decide whether you'd like the grid to load automatically for a certain number of months, or if you would like to manually select your month range and select go yourself. A very handy function is that you can change the key colours as well within this grid default section. If we come down in the grid view here, you can see that we have some bookings. Just hovering your mouse over these bookings will give you a little breakdown of each one. By clicking onto it, will give you a pop-up and the freedom to move, edit or go to the booking. Now to add a booking in via the grid view, it's very easy. You would find the property that you're looking for and the date of arrival. Now you'll notice that we have some blue coloured boxes on each of these lines and that's because when we added our property in, within the property settings page we set what day we would like to be the highlighted day within the grid view. And that's really just to show the preferred changeover day we would like for that property. So we can see on this property here the highlighted day is the Friday. So you would select on the arrival date. You can either select the number of nights or manually select the departure date from the calendar. And what's nice about this option is it automatically pulls the price from the price planner. Now remember we do have the option to reduce this price or change the price in any way on the add a booking screen so don't worry about that. But the price is pulled through from what you're charging on your website so it's coming from the price planner of the property. And to place the booking, we click Place Booking. And you'll see it's brought us now to the Add a Booking screen. It's now a matter of just checking the details and amending as required. You can change anything from the property at this stage to the arrival and departure dates. By ticking the Property Closed option, this will close the property off, so in other words, it will not ask for any money for this booking. So this is very common if you're closing a property for maintenance, or perhaps if you have friends or family staying and you're not charging for that, that booking. Do not move to another property. It's handy if you have returning guests and they like a specific property to go to. By ticking this, it will not allow anyone to amend the property within the booking in the future. You would then complete how many adults, children and infants are coming. Now the status will always be saved as provisional and it will only update to confirmed once a deposit or a balance payment has been made in the booking. You do have the option to manually change this at this stage. Now you'll see that we have the full rate amount that's pulled through from the price planner of the property. Now you can simply just type over that 875 with the price that you would like to offer. However, if you're reducing the price, it always looks more attractive to the guest if you offer a discount, because that will let the guest see that what the full rate should have been and show clearly the discount that you've given. You can see there's multiple discounts to choose from here. However, if there's a discount that's not there, you can use the other discount field and you'll see it gives you a nice free text field where you can put the wording of what you would like to call the discount. You will see the extras that we have set up for this property. If there were any extras that were added on to the booking automatically, so by default, they would already be set within this screen to quantity one. So it's just a matter of you having to worry about adding any extras on manually 
you will just do that yourself. We've now got the contact details for the guest. So here it's just a matter of putting in the guest's details. Now the more information you have about the guest, the better. Remember all of this information starts to build up your database in your account. So the minimum that we need to save a booking is a last name. But we need to really have an email address as well so we can correspond with them. And as well if we have address, contact number and so on, that's more information we have to add to our database. You will see the comments box, there's a little exclamation mark there. And that's a field that's very important to remember that anything that's written in there, the guest can see within the booking summary they get sent. If a guest is on your website and they're booking, if they ask you any questions or have any special requests, that's where this question will pull through to when it comes in. Now, you, it's up to you if you want to reply to them in that comments field. A lot of people like to put the, the question and answer within the main body of their email and keep the booking summary nice and clean. It's completely up to you, but please do remember anything that's written within that comments box, the guest can see. At the bottom here, we have the rating field and the source. So rating allows you to rate the customer when they depart the property. So again, you don't need to worry about that at this stage. The source is really important and it's a good habit to get into asking your guests this question if you're taking an over the phone booking. How did they hear about you? So within here, you will have added all of your sources in and you can select from the drop down how they heard about you. Just to move up a little, on the right hand side of the screen, you can see we have the guest details. Now within our test account here, we've requested that we would like to take all of this information down at the time of booking. So you may not have that enabled, but if you do, this is where you would pop in the guest details. Your reference, that's for people that have come over from previous booking systems, or if you work with your own booking references, you can put that in here. Now Super Control will always create a booking reference for you, and that will increase by one each time. Housekeeper notes at this stage, if you need to log anything that the housekeeper might need to know about, you can put that in here, but you can do that at a later stage. And finally, we have the custom fields. Now, this is extra questions you're asking your guests during the booking process. Now, not everyone requires them, so you may not have them if they're not enabled, but we can see here that we're asking some extra questions at the time of booking, and they will be pulled through onto the booking page.